Hey guys, what is up? My name is Danny. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am so excited because I am joined by my roommate Julie. Hi! Today we're going to be filming something that we thought would be super fun because if you don't know, well I'm living in America right now. I am a New Zealander and last time I checked I'm pretty sure Julie is an American. So yeah. yeah. So we thought it would be fun to film a little slang challenge with the differences between the New Zealand and American slang and see if we can pick up on each other's words. Yeah, let's get into it and please give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. My first word, which I think she will know, I'm starting. Starting easy on ya. What are jandals? Jandals? Is that just like sandals? Like flip flops? Flip flops, yes. What does it mean when you are calling shotgun? Uh, like shotgun front seat, like you yeah. want to sit, like you get the first choice of what you want. Yeah. 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 What is a dairy? Is it not just like the food group dairy? Oh, no! <laughs> No, um, so it's a, it's a type of store. A convenience store, store. Oh, just okay. like the corner yeah. store where you can convenience pick store. things up. You know what cornhole is? Some people call it bags, I call it bags. But I have no idea what that is. It's a lawn game where you have like two planks of wood with like holes in okay. each one and you okay. have like these bags with like corn or like something yeah. in it and you throw it and you try to get into the Oh holes. my god! It sounds like to... such a like southern like, yeah. thing to do. Like, I'm like, <laughs> pretty sure she won't know what this one means. But she might be able to take a guess. My next word is kapahaka. Uh, I don't even... <laughs> kapahaka? Yeah. So, have you seen the All Blacks um, play rugby before? Have you seen the All Blacks games or no? Like, no. Do you, do you know that they do the haka in their games? No. Okay, so it's pretty much just like a cultural war dance. I don't even think we like play rugby here. You do? We do. You bet your team's not very good, but yeah. Oh. Okay. If I were to say that, I was going to Mickey D's. That is McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think um, we just call it Mecca's. Do you say that here? No. Just okay. McDonald's or Mickey D's. Oh, or like, interesting. Some people say like the Golden Arch. Yeah. So crazy that the McDonald's symbol is more well known and recognized world worldwide than the cross. Is it really? Mm -hmm. That is really <laughs> yeah. pathetic. That's so pathetic. I know. All right. My next word is an Australian and New Zealand classic word that I love to use. It is bogan. Bogan. Yeah. It sounds like bogus. Stupid. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like probably the US equivalent would be like a redneck. And it's pretty much a guy. It's mainly guys, although I guess you could be a girl bogan. But it's guys who are like really into cars and drinking and they're just really like not sophisticated at all. Like white trash. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what a bogan is. You know what a dime is? They're really attractive or something like Yeah, they're like 10 really out of 10 because yeah. a dime yeah. is 10 yeah. Oh! So no, I see. Right, my next one, it's a long drop. A long drop? Yeah. Is that like a fair chance? <laughs> Shoot, okay. Oh, oh, it's okay. not quite, not quite. Something completely different. It's a toilet. Oh. So it's like a long drop toilet. Like it doesn't have, you can't like flush it or anything. It's just like a, a oh. drop. You know what catching feels means? Yeah, starting to get the feels for a guy. Starting to catch the feelings. Yeah. So what does it mean? to take the piss, if I'm taking the piss out of something. Take the words out of somebody's mouth. Good, you know what that good means? guess, yeah. yeah. Taking the piss is if you're like making fun of someone, if they got kind of offended about it, you're just like, oh, I'm just taking the piss. I'm just kidding, I'm just joking. Oh, okay. yeah. I thought you guys actually said that here. I didn't realize that. You say like, I'm just joking, I'm just joshing. <laughs> I used to say that in middle school. I'm just joshing you, just man. Joshing. I like that one. Do you know what it means when you swear to someone? Like in a car? No. If I was at a party and some dude came up to me and I like wasn't interested, it at all, I'd uh, swear okay, okay. My next word is batch. Batch? Batch. Like a bachelor pad, like a nice house. Oh yeah, I guess it comes from that word, doesn't it? But it's not a nice house. It's just like a holiday home out by the beach. They're usually like not very flash, but like pretty small houses. Yeah, you told there. me that. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like how we call it a lake house. I haven't been to a lake house, but everyone in America just has a lake house. I have a bunch of friends who have lake houses. Yeah. But I don't have Okay, my next one is chili bin. Chili bin, like a cooler. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Go you. If you think about it, it's a chili bin. It's just like yeah. a really cold little thing. Mm -hmm. Cooler. Mm -hmm. It's chili and it's a bin. And that brings us to the end of this challenge. So I hope you guys did enjoy. It was really fun filming this video with you, Julie. Yeah. And I'm going to miss you when I leave America. I know. 
Thank you guys for watching and please give this video a like if you did enjoy it and until then I will see you guys next week. Bye!